watering the garden. I shaved earlier today. You probably tell. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm watering the garden. This grass is all dry. It happens every year. We try and water it, but it just dies anyway. As you can see, it is 99 degrees outside. Pretty hot. Turn left on Pittman Road. Okay. Um, what we're doing right now is kind of like a race, actually. Uh, my mom is on a plane down in Santa Ana, California. And she's flying up to Sacramento. And I'm driving to Sacramento. Take the on the right to Interstate 80 East. So she's a lot further away than I am. So we'll see who gets there first. This will be fun. Well, not really, it's just driving for an hour. But anyway, let's see who gets there first. It's a pretty cool old Jeep right there. on the right to service areas economy parking. Nah, I don't need to do that. 15. And I'm at the terminals. So I'm not sure what to do until my mom gets here. Hmm. So it's almost 2.40. I've been driving around on airport property for, I don't know, ever since I got there. Um, so... I decided I'm just gonna go off of airport property and park at the gas station and wait for my mom to get out and then go because they have no parking on airport property. So you just have to basically just keep driving around in circles through all these complicated intersections and lanes that merge together along with buses and it's just terrible how they have it set up. They should just have, you come to the airport and then you have, you know, a temporary parking area that's free. Just a parking lot with maybe 50 or 60 spaces. That's all it really needs at once. And you just park there until whoever you're picking up is ready. And then you can just go and get them and leave. Not drive around in circles forever. So I'm just going to wait here until my mom tells me she's ready. And then I'm just going to go and drive around once more. Seems like a lot of people actually do the same thing because look, all those people over there are there and they have no parking painted everywhere. Oh wait, my mom's calling. So, my mom called and there's apparently a problem with the baggage. So, hers might come out in the first run, but it might take longer. And they don't know how long it'll take. And my engine started to get hot sitting here running because I wanted to leave the air conditioning on. But my engine was getting overheated again because it wasn't getting any airflow over the radiator. So I had to turn it off, but now it's only been off like a minute and it's getting really hot in here. So I'm gonna go inside, inside there. All right, it's three o'clock. So I've been here almost an hour. 
and mom said she finally got her bags and we'll be waiting out on the sidewalk so I can drive around one more time, pick her up, and then we can go home.